But let the games begin. Right, well, we've come outside the toy fair and we've come across something really, really interesting. And an interesting gentleman as well, who I'm going to introduce, is, is Richard Noble, uh, one of the Land Speed record holders. How are yeah. you, sir? Fine, thank you. Fine. Can it's you explain a little bit to somebody like me who doesn't know about <laughs> what it is that you've done and all the people at home? Because you held the land speed record between the years of... No, uh, well, I took it in 1983 at uh, 633 miles an hour and held it right the way through until uh, 1997 when we built another car called Thrust SSC, which was the first ever supersonic car, and that was uh, driven by Andy Green. And that is the current record now at 763 miles an hour. I have to ask, what is it like at 600 miles an hour? <laughs> it is, uh, it's an extraordinary experience. I mean, it really is an extraordinary experience. Enormous acceleration, violent deceleration, losing speed around 5G, you know, huge deceleration. And extraordinary at these speeds, uh, you know, you start to see the uh, shockwaves build up on the car as the lo airflow locally goes supersonic. And in my case, we were actually we turned out to be about seven miles an hour away from takeoff. So I was, I'm very glad to be here today. <laughs> <laughs> I could imagine. I could imagine. It's, it's kind of. What kind of training must you have gone through to, before you could actually do that? Because uh, well, you're talking kind of astronaut stuff uh, here. Yeah, yeah. Um, the name of the game is to be very, very fit, and I'm not very fit now, but very, <laughs> very fit. And, um, and principally, just spent an awful lot of time driving the car. Right. There's nothing you can't learn from a circuit car or a race car or anything like that. Um, it's uh, you've really got to drive the actual car and just keep on. And of course, you know, you're, it's the role of a minor test pilot in the sense you've got to know all the systems and you've got to know how everything works. Well. Did you have any actual fears when you were doing that? Well, this is a very interesting thing. Um, you Obviously, when you start something, a program like that, you've got a lot of apprehension, you know, particularly because I'd never driven faster than 120 miles an hour before. Of course, but, I wasn't in Britain. <laughs> no, I well, no, couldn't possibly have been in Britain. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, and um, uh, what you do is you put that behind you. Right. Um, and if basically you are frightened, then you're the wrong person to do the job. Okay. I'd, I'll be perfectly honest with you, I'd crap my pants as soon as I put my foot on that pedal, and I, I wouldn't have gone anywhere. Well, so this is where we're going now, this is okay. 133,000 horsepower, Right. Okay. okay which is um, powered by your fighter engine and also our own rocket motor, and uh, uh, it is capable of 1,000 miles an hour. We've done all the research on it, spent about 3.5 million quid on research, we've now got to the point where we know we can do it, and we're now into the build. And, and Andy Green is going to Andy's going to drive it, yeah. Okay. And it's an education program because we've got a real problem in Britain. We don't have enough engineers. Right. So what we're doing is making all the technology on this project available and running through all the schools. So yeah, I've seen that. And people can get information through your website. Yeah, absolutely. So and of course, and not only that, but also lesson plans. Right. So Excellent. we've got just over 4,000 schools in Britain on it now. Fantastic. Do you want to tell everybody at home what your website is? so that they Yeah, bloodhoundssc.com. There Mate, you go. Go you for get, it. Get yourself on there and find out some more information. I, I actually want to meet Andy Green, the yeah. man who is completely fearless to mm. drive this mm. at a thousand miles an hour. Yep. I want to shake him by the hand well, before he does the uh, run. Oh, no, no, afterwards. <laughs> where, where exactly are you going to go and test the thousand miles an hour? Well, what we're going to do is we're, we're into the build of the car now and we will uh, we'll roll the car out about the middle of next year and then after that we'll do testing in Britain on a runway somewhere just to make sure it all works all right. Yep. Then after that we've got our own desert in South Africa which is just oh. near, the, just part of the Kalahari Desert. Ah, oh, right, and, okay. And uh, so uh, we're, we're going up there and they've got 300 people working on it at the moment, uh, clearing the stones and um, removing a road which goes I, across I, it. I think I saw that on <clears> Top Gear actually, it's quite hard on the top and a little bit soft on That's the knees, some parts of it. That's absolutely ideal, because of course we've got solid wheels, so right. the surface does the job of the wheel, does the job of the tyre. Yeah. Fantastic, well we, we'd like to wish Andy all the best of luck with mm. that, and uh, Richard, thank you very much thank for your time, sir. Thank you very much. Thousand miles an hour, get yeah. ready ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's a British car that's going to set the world that's record. Right. It's all British, how's that? We'll let the games begin. Trick, 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 trick,